Good morning. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith with the National Weather Service in Pocatello. This is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Wednesday, December 26th. May not be the absolute best travel morning out there for some of you across Southeast Idaho. There's uh, three reasons for that. The first is we take a look at our regional radar loop. Pretty quiet out there, but you will notice just a little bit of light snow shower activity here that's developed along the I-86 corridor. Generally from just to the west of Pocatello, extending out toward the interchange here with I-84 just to the east of Burley. And it's expected to be really light across that area. Some of our models extend this uh, several hours this morning, possibly into the 7, 8, or 9 o'clock uh, hour time frame and may drop a quick dusting to a coating of fresh snow in that area. So be on the lookout for a few slick spots. So we throw up a uh, weather map here for 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. time frame. This yellow shading is indicative of some patchy freezing fog that is possible across the region. Now, so far this morning, we haven't seen any widespread issues with the fog, and I don't think we're going to see that as we head through the morning, but may run into some uh, patchy dense fog out there, uh, dropping visibilities down to below a mile, possibly down to a quarter mile. And with the cold temperatures in place, we certainly could see some uh, light icing on a few of the roadways if you do run into this activity. So another thing to keep an eye on as you travel this morning. Low temperatures, quite cold across the region this morning in wake of the system that just moved through. Even as we advance into high temperatures this afternoon, you'll notice we're only getting up into the 20s across most of the region, maybe 30 down here in the Burley and Twin Falls area. But as you look across southern and eastern portions of Idaho, where we did see some snowfall over the last day to day and a half, really seeing 20s for our high temperatures. So we're not going to see a significant contribution from melting today to help clear those area roadways. So between the patchy freezing fog, maybe a few light snow showers this morning west of Pocatello, and some of that remaining snow and ice on area roadways, definitely want to be careful if you're traveling across southeast Idaho this morning and watch out for some slick areas. So we take a look at the water vapor loop. System on the way out, but we have another storm system that's on our doorstep. It's actually this uh, area. You can see some swirl in the clouds, swirl in the water vapor out here over the Pacific Ocean. This is our next storm system that's going to drop to the southeast and cross over our area from this evening during into the overnight hours and then for your day on Thursday. A little bit of a break between systems today, maybe even some sunshine poking through generally dry conditions once we rid ourselves of those snow showers this morning between Burley and Pocatello. So with this next storm system, here's a look at our expectation for storm total snow. Again, this is from this evening, extending overnight and into Thursday and Thursday evening. You can see generally one to three inches here across the central mountains. Uh, really light amounts here in the northeast part of our forecast area, generally a coating to maybe an inch from Blackfoot and Idaho Falls up into the Island Park area and the Teton Valley and Palisades. A little bit higher accumulations, though, as you get down to the south here. So one to two, one to three inches for most of the southern highlands in Bear Lake. And you'll see this, this zone here extending across the eastern Magic Valley and the western southern highlands of a little bit higher snow totals. This area, we're expecting two to three inches of snow over the course of this event. May see some embedded heavier amounts here, generally just to the south of Burley, uh, to the west of Malta. May include areas like Oakley and Albion, uh, City of Rocks. Some snow totals of three to six, maybe three to seven inches in this area with this particular system coming through. And for that reason, we have issued a new winter weather advisory. This is in effect from 11 p.m. this evening to 10 p.m. tomorrow, including the Eastern Magic Valley and the Western Southern Highlands. You'll notice too here with the shading, we've included this advisory or extended this advisory up over the lower Snake River Plain, including American Falls, Pocatello, Chubbuck, up toward Fort Hall and Blackfoot. Snowfall amounts are a little mar more marginal in this area, and I'll back up here real quick. You can see we're looking for one to two inches across that area, but with the heavier snow coming down during the morning commute and a little bit of that residual snow and ice on area roadways from the system that we just uh, just left our area, maybe a little bit of an, more of an impact to travel, particularly Thursday morning. So we did include uh, the advisory across that area. I'm going to switch gears here real quick here and show you uh, this is output from one of our computer models just giving you a general idea of how this system may progress across the region and we're kicking this off at 7 p.m. this evening generally quiet across the region but you can see that activity starting to move into the central mountains out towards Stanley as we start to advance this forward to 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock and now approaching midnight you can see that 
precipitation, that snow starting to move in across the central mountains into the Magic Valley, starting to approach Pocatello. And as we head into the early morning hours, you can see some of the heavier activity really focusing here along that interstate corridor from Pocatello to Burley, also portions of I-84. I think that heaviest period of snowfall is really going to be from about 2 to 4 a.m. and then extending through the morning rush hour until about 9 or 10 a.m. You can see that indicated here on the models. As we continue through the morning, you can see some continued snow across the region starting to diminish a little bit. We'll see this activity clear out first across uh, northern and central portions of the forecast area as we head into this afternoon. But you can see that snow shower activity really hanging on here by 5 or 6 p.m. across the southern highlands. So this will be the last area where we expect those snow showers to clear out and we keep that winter weather advisory going until 10 p.m. As we head into Thursday evening, things really settle down across the region. Maybe a few lingering snow showers, particularly across the south. Even as we head into early Friday morning, uh, may not completely get rid of all those snow showers, but definitely a diminishing trend Thursday night into early Friday morning. Jumping back over to our briefing here, low temperatures Thursday morning colder than what we've seen the past few days, getting down into the low 20s here in the Eastern Magic Valley, but generally teens and single digits elsewhere across the region. Thursday, high temperatures, definitely supportive of snow everywhere. We may get up close to about 29, 30 degrees here in the Eastern Magic Valley, generally 20s for the rest of our forecast area. Even colder Friday morning across the region, uh, possibly dropping below zero, about five to 10 below zero in our normally colder spots such as uh, Stanley, Galena Summit, also the Copper Basin area, possibly below zero up here into the Island Park area and the Teton Valley as well. Generally single, single digits to low teens elsewhere across the forecast area. Very similar high temperatures on Friday across the region, generally getting into the 20s at all of our lower elevations and plains. Low temperatures Saturday morning, cold once again, dropping below zero across the central mountains, up into the upper Snake Plain, zero possible for Idaho Falls, below zero again for Island Park in the Teton Valley. And similar high temperatures again expected Saturday afternoon. Generally a mostly dry day across the region. Our next chance of precipitation will come with a system heading our way starting on Sunday. That's it for your hazard briefing this morning. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for us, feel free to reach out using the phone number or email address here on your screen. Have a great day.